Hippie Cove is a refuge tucked away in the woods in the side of Mount Eak in Cordova, Alaska, a small fishing town. It's a place that means different things to different people. For many, it is a place to find shelter while looking for a job on a fishing boat. For others, it is a place to meet friends and enjoy company. And for others, it is a home. I was dropped off here when I arrived in town with no other place to stay. Now, let me show you Hippie Cove. Welcome back folks, this is Broken Free, I'm in Cordova, and I today am going to show you Hippie Cove. Alright folks, so just kind of entering right now, so what it looks like from the cove. The view is marvelous, and there's loads of places that you're going to see it from the cove if you're here. Over here. This does not belong to the cove. This belongs to a nearby landowner, but I want to show you anyway. They got a little coop over here for all the chickens. Look at these guys. Look at that guy. That was me. That wasn't the that wasn't the rooster. But you know, people like having their chickens around here. Uh, free eggs, free all that. He's got to pay for their food. And if you don't like a chicken, then you have a whole meal. It's great. You can feed a family of uh, three or four, depending on how big eaters you are. If you heard that one, that was a chicken. Over here, not part of Hippie Cove, but if you're invited, feel free to head over. Howdy, y'all. As you saw before, absolutely gorgeous view. This whole place is just beyond scenic. I don't even know what to call it. Let's come on up this way. I'll show you the first little house you'll find. Howdy. <laughs> this is Chance. Hey. Wait, wait to the camera, Chance. Hey, YouTube, how's it going? <laughs> He's a good man. He's he's in charge of this place. He runs it. He owns it. He's a he's a great man. If you're gonna go try and find a man. That's the first person you find. He'll lay down the rules, set you up, point you in the right direction. He knows a lot of people. I love that guy. But he's the stairs, heading on up to uh, heading on up to the birdhouse. I call it the blue bird house a lot because really really blue. <laughs> And it's just perched up these long stairs. Get you a little workout if you're not ready for it. Rope handles, make sure you don't fall. Hey, hey, how's it going, man? <laughs> and this is, this is the view from the birdhouse. So, you can't see much through here, but it's gorgeous anyway. One of the properties here, and uh, you know, some people in there are a little busy, so we're just gonna leave them to their thing. But as long as I've been here, that space has been occupied by some pretty permanent residents. But residency is always changing, so I don't know when I'll be open again. I think I'm gonna cut through here. Got a little trail we can walk up through, so I'm gonna cut around here. So, like I mentioned. Uh, the birdhouse, it's a wood burning stove, so you gotta take care of it yourself. It's part of that self sustaining, self sustaining bit. You gotta cut your own wood. I'll show you where we do that in a minute. Here we go. Now we're coming up on a place that I'm standing right now. Come on up into where I'm standing right now. And this we call it Chance's house. Because Chance. The man that you just owned, the man that you just met, owns this property. 
But he has his RV, so he's often letting people use it or renting it out. But I didn't want those. And so hey, hey. Going How's it going, Matt? What's up, man? I'm on YouTube. Put your pants on. Oh, boy. What? Hello again. Gentlemen, hello. We're in Chance's house. We have our, our wood burning stove. We have the view that ends up being most of my day when I'm not at the docks. It's gorgeous. It's foggy because of the smoke right now, but it's much more gorgeous when you look at it. Maybe I'll get some more video for you later. But, doing a quick tour, gentlemen. Don't mind me. <laughs> Big old wood pile. Inside here, we've got a little compost and toilet. We've got a place, got a place to pee, a place to poop. Just don't throw anything else in there. That'd be weird. Let's head on downstairs and see what's going on downstairs. Last bit's my favorite bit. So long, gentlemen. Thank you. Over here, you see an axe, you see a handful of logs. This is kind of where you can go and get your wood. You go, you find a big disc like this guy, and take that axe right there, you lop it up. You lop it up good. Because that is gonna need to go with you wherever you're going, whether it's inside, or to a tent, or to this next bit. This real exciting bit I'm gonna show you right now is my favorite part right here. Then you come over here, my three favorite things, right here. You got the creek, overflowing all the time. It's just water and water and water. When I first got here, Chance showed me over here, and I was asking him about water I could drink. So the first thing he did, came over here, this line. This line is fed and this hose all the way up into there from the source. This is all spring water. What he did, he bent this hose straight to his face. He drank right from it. And he said, yeah, you can drink this water. I've been drinking it for 15 years. This water is clean. So long as the residents here keep it that way, that water is going to be drinkable. And comes right from the earth, it comes right from nature, every time. It's rainwater, it's runoff, it's all of it. But, in here, we've got a bin for you to collect firewood in, and then, we come on into my favorite place. This here is the sauna. The big wooden room, it's got one big tub of water here full of water that you can use for keeping the place warm. You can use it for steaming up the sauna. You can use it for bathing. You've got the stove here. You should fill a fire when you need to. And excuse the lighting in here. And all of this good seating. When this thing lights up, this place is full. It's full to the brim. Let's get a piece of wood out of here.